In this tutorial, you are going to learn a lot of skills. Join me as we solve this math Olympiad exponential equation together. I tell you, it's very simple. You can drop your own method in the comments. Meanwhile, let me show you how best to do it. Now, what we do, we begin it with solution. But before then, let me remind you of some important tips, which says that if you have 1 over a to the power of n, according to exponential rule, it means you are going to have a to the power of negative one. Okay. Now we're going to see how useful this can be as we solve true. So what we do here with this is going to give us, remember, we can choose to change this nine to be in base three. And you know that nine is three times three, which is three to the power of two. So for this, we are going to have one over three to the power of two raised to the power of X then minus six over three to the power of X plus eight is equal to zero. Now, what do you do again? So at this point, this value inside the bracket, we can apply this principle. And if you do that, we are going to now have three to the power of negative two for this, then raised to the power of X minus. Now, how do we simplify this? You know that when you have six over three to the power of X, it means six multiply one over three to the power of X. Amazing. And you know, six is same as six over one. So then when you multiply this, it gives you back six. And when you multiply this, it gives you back three to the power of X. So in that case, it means that this is the same as saying six is multiplying, applying this principle here. It means we are going to have six we multiply three to the power of a uh, negative x. Interesting. So what it means is that this can be rewritten to be six multiplying three to the power of negative x as we have it here. Now we bring down plus eight is equal to zero. So what do you do again? You also remember one of the tips of exponent, which says that if you have a to the power of m to the power of n, it is the same as a to the power of mn as you multiply the powers. And this is also the same as a to the power of n, then to the power of m. You can switch the powers. They still give you the same thing. So let's apply this as we solve. So in that case, for this, we can switch it so that we are going to have 3 to the power of x, then raised to the power of we can still leave it as 3 to the power of negative x raised to power of 2, just for the sake of what we have here. Okay, then we have minus 6 multiplies 3 to the power of negative x plus 8 is equal to 0. Now, at this point, you should have observed something. What did you observe? You observed that 3 to the power of negative x is common. So we can choose to replace it with any variable of your choice. Now, in this, I'm going to replace mine with a variable y. So you can choose any one for yourself. Now, to do that, we are going to now have, so this is going to give us, we can say, let 3 to the power of negative x be y. Okay? So anywhere you see it, you replace it with y. So this is going to give us y for this value, then you raise to the power of 2 minus 6, Remember, this is 6 multiplying, okay? So it becomes 6 is multiplying. This is y. So we have this plus 8 is equal to 0. Interesting. So what do you do again? You multiply out y squared. If you multiply this, it gives you 6y and plus 8 is equal to 0. Now, what does this equation remind you of? It reminds you of what we call quadratic equation because you notice that the highest power of y here is 2. And each time you have such equation, we are the highest power of the unknown is 2. It is said to be quadratic. Now at this point, you can choose any method to solve this equation. Join me in this tutorial. I'm showing you how you can use the factoring because we can factor. Okay. So what you do is you are going to look out for the coefficient of y square here is 1. So we don't have problem. What you just need to do is get two numbers that when you multiply, it gives you positive 8. And when you add them, it gives you negative 6. 
Now, the question is, how and where will I get the number? You get the number from the factors, those numbers that can divide eight. Now, you can think. So what two numbers are you thinking about? Let me help you to cut it short. The two numbers are going to be four and two. And what signs? Negative two and negative four. Now, watch. Multiply these two. It gives you positive eight. Now, negative 4 minus 2, if you add this, it gives you negative 6. Did you see that? So we have gotten what we want. Now, what do you do? Let me show you the tip. The secret there is, since this is y squared, just open two brackets for y. And you have equal to 0. So what do you do? Because it's y squared, put one y here, another y here. Okay? Now, these two values you got, one will be inside here. Another will be here, and you see everything is equal to zero. If you expand this, it returns you to this. That's very interesting. Now, when you have this to be zero, it means that it's either that y minus 4 is equal to zero. So what do you do? You are going to add 4 to both sides to get your y. So we can have it that y is equal to 4. Okay. Now, at this point, you have y minus 2 is equal to zero. So you add also 2 to both sides, and you have it that y is equal to 2. But you know, these two values of y are not what we are asked to find. The question says, find x, but we are going to do something to get that x. So to do that, we are going to now have... Now, recall we said this. We made a statement here. So we are going to now have, when y is... When our y is 4, what do you do? Remember this statement, okay? So in that case, you are going to have 3 to the power of x is equal to your y is 4. So what do you do now? You need to take the log of both sides. And to do that, you are going to have log of 3 to the power of negative x is equal to log of 4. Now remember, in your logarithm, if you have log of a to the power of x, it is the same as using this x to multiply, and it gives you x log a. Let's obey this rule. And if you do that, it means that this power, the power here is negative x, okay? So we're going to use it to multiply the log. And if you do that, it will give you negative x log 3 is equal to log of 4. Interesting. So what do you do? Your target is on x. So you are going to divide by, what do you divide with now? You divide by the negative and this log 3 so that you can get your x. And you also do same here. I hope you are with me. So this can cancel, this will cancel. So you see we are now having x is equal to, what happens here? Something is going to be happening here because you notice that 4 is not yet a simplified figure. Okay, so we need to reduce this 4. And to do that, we are going to now have. So let's take it to this part to get the actual value of x. So this gives us, we now have it as x is equal to, we now have 4 is expressed as, 4 is the same as 2 times 2, which is 2 to the power of 2. So always know that you don't leave your value if something can also divide. It's only when it is prime. That's the lowest form you can leave it, okay? So that's why we need to simplify this again. And to do that, we are going to have log of 2, okay? So we have log of 2 to the power of 2 all over. So we, this negative sign, when you divide, this is positive by negative. It just gives you negative. So we have that, and that is log 3. So what do you do again? Obey this rule. And if you do that, you are going to have negative 2 log 2. This we multiply, okay? All over log 3. Now, what do you do at this point? Another tip you need to remember in your rule of logarithm is that when you have log of A over log of B, what does it mean? It means you can have it to be log of A base B. Did you see that? So this is the same as this. So in that case, what do you do here? We are going to apply it here. And if you do that, our X is going to give us negative 2. So we are going to have, just take one log. This one at the numerator will become the number, and this one will now become the base. 
So this becomes the first value of x for when y is what? 4. Now let's do it again for when y is 2 to get the value of y. So to do that, we are going to have... So this is going to give us... We are now saying when y is equal to 2, what do you do? You also remember this. So you are going to now have 3 to the power of negative x is equal to 2, okay? So you also take the log of both sides. And if you are doing that, you are going to have log of 3 to the power of negative x is equal to log of 2. Now apply this principle here. This we multiply. So we are going to have x negative x log 3 is equal to log of 2. Just repeat what you've just done, okay? So here you divide by negative of log 3, divide this by negative of log 3. This we cancel this. So we're going to have x is equal to, this will now give us negative, obeying this rule here, obeying what we have here. We are going to now have negative log 2, then this becomes the base. So this becomes the second value of x. And that is what we have. So this is the first value and this is the second value. Now we're going to check to know if our answer corresponds. So let's check. We are going to check for the first value of x for when x is negative 2 log 2 base 3. Okay, let's see what we're going to have. So we plug it here. Let's see if, what, if we put the value of x into the left side, if it will give us 0. Now, in that case, we are going to have 1 over 9 to the power of our x is this. So we have negative 2 log 2 base 3, then minus 6 over our x is still. So we have 3 to the power of negative 2 log 2 base 3, then plus 8. So what do you do? You are going to now have, remember that we, we made the statement at the beginning that this is the same as 1 over, we wrote it as 3 to the power of negative 2, okay, for this in the bracket. So this will now be raised to the power of, we raise it to the power of negative 2 log 2 base 3, then minus, we have 6 over 3 to the power of negative 2 log 2 base 3, then plus 8. Now what do you do here? Remember your rule of exponents, which says that when you have a to the power of m, we've already said it at the beginning, it is the same as a to the power of mn, so you multiply your powers. So we're going to apply it here. To do that, we're going to have... So this gives us, if you multiply this, we're going to have 3 to the power of 4 log 2 base 3 minus, this is 6 over... 3 to the power of negative 2 log 2 base 3 plus 8. Now, another tip you need to remember is your anti-logarithm rule, which says if you have a and is raised to the power of log b base a, we are the log of this, the base of this log and this base are the same. It is always equal to this number b. So let's apply this rule here. So what do you do? But when you look at this, there is no number here in the rule. But here there is 4. So we're going to remove this 4. And to remove this 4 here, it becomes the power of the log. Okay? So we are going to now have 3 to the power of log of 2. This 2 will be raised to power of 4. Then let's bring it down. So this is giving us 3 to the power of log of 2 to the power of 4 base 3 minus 6, okay? So we have all over 3, we are going to remove this. And to remove it, it becomes the power. So we have log of 2 to the power of negative 2, then base 3 plus 8. Amazing. So what do you do again? You simplify. This and this are the same, obeying this rule. So in that case, this becomes the value. So we're going to have 2 to the power of 4 for this, minus for this, this and this are the same. So we're going to have 6 over, just pick this value here, which is 2 to the power of negative 2. Did you see that? Then plus 8. 
So we're going to simplify this to now have 2 to the power of 4 is 2 multiplied 4 times, and that will give us 16. Minus, this will give us 6 is divided by 2 to the power of negative 2. Okay, and when you have 2 to the power of negative, it means 1 over 2 to the power of 2, which is 1 over 2 to the power of 2 is 2 times 2, which is 4. So for this, you are going to have it as 1 over 4, okay? Replacing this then plus 8, we are simplifying. So we are going to have 6 minus, this is over 1. To change this to multiplication sign, you reverse the number. This goes up, this comes down. So we are going to have 6 is multiplying 4. And 4 over 1 is same as 4. Then plus 8. Apply your simple board mass or your PEMDAS. So we are going to have 16. Multiply this, it gives you, this will give us 24. So we have 24 plus 8. And when you add this and this, it gives you 24 minus this, which is 0. You just see that and what you have here is 0. So in that case, it means that this first value of x is what is correct. Now let's check for the second value of x. And to do that, what do we have? We now check for when x is equal to negative of log 2 base 3. Now let's see what we have for that, for the second value of x. So we now have 1 over 9 to the power of our x is this. So we have negative log 2 base 3 minus 6 over 3 to the power of negative of log 2 base 3, then plus 8. Let's still check if it will give us what? 0. So we're going to have from here, this is giving us, let's change this. Just repeat the same process you've just done, okay? That's just what you need to do. So we're going to now have 1 over, for this, it is the same as 3 to the power of negative 2 raised to the power of negative log 2 base 3 minus 6 over. This will give us 3 to the power of negative of log 2 base 3 plus 8. So we're going to have, multiply this, we have 3 to the power of 2 log 2 base 3 minus 6 over 3 to the power of negative of log 2 base 3 plus 8. Remember we said this multiplies, okay? This becomes the power. So we're going to have, and this and this are equal. So when you raise this to this, it becomes 2 to the power of 2, okay? Minus 6 over. This, neg this is negative 1 as a coefficient. So use it to raise it to this power. It becomes 2 raised to power of negative 1. Remember, this and this are the same. So we have plus 8. And let's simplify this to now have 2 to the power of 2 will give us 4 minus, this will give us 6 multiplying divided by 1 over 2 plus 8. So we're going to have 4 multiply, reverse this. We're going to have 6 is multiplying. Sorry, this is division, okay? When you reverse, it becomes multiplication plus 8. Then if you multiply this, it gives us 12 plus 8. Then we have this. And if you add this up, it's going to give you 0. And that is what we have here. So you can now see in conclusion that these two values of x are correct as they satisfy the equation. And I hope this helps you a lot. Let's know how much in the comment. Sharing this will help more people to learn the skills we displayed. And remember to give us a thumbs up. See you in our next class. And bye-bye.